This video is intended for adult collectors so adults who want an nostalgia fix, not for kids. Although children may appear in this video, they are in it for review purposes only. If you are a child, please make sure to get your parents' permission before watching and make them watch it with you. Welcome to Emily and Hector's Retro Review! <laughs> In 1971, McDonald's started a campaign steered towards children. Its hero, Ronald McDonald. Its world, McDonaldland. Get yourself ready for a trip through McDonaldland. Take along a friend and grab a hold of Ronald's hand. French fry thatch. Now just turn around and see if you won't find a hamburger patch as you're heading for a McDonald's. The campaign was a success, and to every child's delight, a toy line followed. In 1976, Remco produced 7-inch figures with real cloth clothing, including Mayor McCheese, Grimace, Professor, Big Mac, plus two villains in Hamburglar and Captain Crook, and of course, the hero, Ronald McDonald, and the Coupe de Gras, the only place that ever produced the fantastic imaginary world, McDonald Land. Featuring a wind-up train the figures could ride on, a large cardboard scenery backdrop, a McDonald's restaurant, a mini bridge, apple pie tree with a swing for the figures to play on. The commercials, the toys, the whole concept was great. But in 1977, most of it ended after McDonald's lost a lawsuit to the creators of H.R. Puffin Stuff for plagiarism. Besides being super dirty from just being stored away for decades, they are in great condition. So once I got to washing them, they actually look fantastic. They look great. Although some are missing a few accessories, they still just, they look awesome. So let's start by taking a look at Big Mac. Now he still has his accessory. He's got his whistle here. His head, what I was checking out is it's solid. It's a solid head. Look at his outfit. His outfit looks incredible. Nice and clean. And I wanna try and take off the clothing so you guys could see the, the bodies that they have underneath. They basically have like human bodies. He still has his belt. And his gimmick here is really nice because it still works perfectly. He still moves his head up and down. Yes, yes, he still works nicely. And he says, no, 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 please uh, don't, don't mess me up. Mayor McCheese. Both of these figures are actually the ones that drew me to this eBay item. His head is solid, solid plastic. Oh, he's missing detail on his other shoulder. But just looking at him like this, he's very reminiscent to the superpowers Penguin and Joker with these coattails. You see his human body underneath. It's really nice the way they actually made this guy. Especially now that he's clean, he looks really good. Except for, um, I don't know what this is supposed to be here. The Professor. Clean. He looks really nice. But, something happened. This was not done while I was cleaning. I was actually trying to get most of these stains off his coat. You see some of the stains here because of this metal button right here that actually ripped off. This thread is coming apart now. 
as you can see from here, here. He still looks really good. He's one of the few human characters in this McDonaldland line. His action works very well as well. He's almost kind of strange and weird. Captain Crook looks crazy. No wonder this guy stopped appearing because he looks he looks nuts. His pants, his uh, uh, ruffled shirt, and his hat are all really nice. He's basically a pirate. You can tell by uh, that earring he's got right there. And he comes with his sword, which looks like a wooden sword. Ramco. 1976 patent pending you can see his tummy right there too because his pants don't go all the way up the one i did not wash all i did is just wipe his eyes his eyebrows and his lips grimace i did not want to put him in the wash because i looked at a picture of grimace brand new and this is not how his fur is supposed to look like it looks like they had already tried washing him and I didn't want to put him through that again. So he didn't smell, he didn't look filthy. He's nice and fluffy. His card actually says you could kind of like snuggle with him or something. That's all he has. He doesn't really have articulation. He stands pretty nice. If you want to count that, his articulation. That's it right there. Hamburglar, you can take the brim of his hat off. His detailing is really nice. I really love the paint job they did on, on his face. Although, it's sad that he's missing his, his tie here. At least he still has his cape. And his cape is two-sided. It's really nice. And his cape also has a little hole, a little slit right here so that you can play with the gimmick. No, no, please don't. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? The small little detail that they did put in is what makes all the difference. Ronald McDonald. His face looks really nice now that it's clean. Also his hair. I just put a, a comb through it. it. Looks really nice. I was gonna put some hairspray on it, try to make it curlier and up and not have a bob hairstyle. Paint is really nice. He does have a few stains in the pockets coming off, some of the threads coming off as well. But considering that he's from 1976, just say cheese. He looks fantastic. This is one of the only figures that have some scuff marks, like on his hands. The rest, they got no scuff marks. He's got a human body. Well, he is a human. He's just a guy dressed up in a clown outfit. Don't be scared of him. Now that we got the last guy here, let's take a look at his articulation. He has the articulation that all the other figures have, except for Grimace. He's got articulation at the head, side to side, up and down, and all the way around. Just don't mess with it too much, because you might mess up his gimmick back here. His arms go up and down, no side to side movement, no elbow articulation, no waist articulation. He's got leg articulation, up, down, and back no knee articulation and no foot articulation so he has five points of articulation this ebay item came with all the tracks needed to get the train all aboard it also came with this thing i don't know what it's called but it does make the train stop see makes this little thing rise up this wind-up train and it is a wind-up train no longer works. I did open it and I tried to fix it, but once I looked inside, it nah, there's no way of repairing it. I did fix the spot where they had put a band-aid to try to fix it. I just put some crazy glue on it, put the bell in it. The bell doesn't really, oh, and I think I broke it again. All right, so I'll, I'll glue it again. But yeah, unfortunately the wheels don't, don't really move. I might just end up buying a train separately. This set originally came with only one passenger train and I have it right here. 
This reminds me a lot of Thomas the Train Tracks. And it also came with, it looks like a lion's cage, but this is for Hamburglar. Once you, once Big Mac catches them, put them away. It is broken here, but it still has one side right there. You just lift it up, push it down, and it's locked. Have it. That's how it connects. The apple pie tree. I had to glue it back together, put these branches back on here. So you can see it still has a little bit of band-aid right there that the previous owner had put. Otherwise, it's in great shape, except that it does come with a swing and this is beyond repair. For some reason, they also tried putting band-aids on the broken piece of the swing. There's nothing to latch on. There's nothing for me to uh, super glue together. I also came with stilts for the characters to walk around and watch over McDonald Land, I guess. Or even pick out some of the apple pies from the apple pie tree. And here are the golden arches. Here's the tiny bridge for the placement. This is actually really nice. It's cute. The cardboard cutout of the McDonald's restaurant. You got a Big Mac, quarter pounder, quarter pounder with cheese, hamburger, cheeseburger, fish fillet, shakes, French fries. The cardboard is actually falling apart a bit. Otherwise, uh, it's 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 in okay condition. It's it's in better condition than I've seen other ones. Unfortunately, this is the only cardboard piece that I have for this set. The backdrop. It's probably long gone by now. And here's the restaurant all put together. I just put the roof on top of the cardboard piece. Here's the table. Here is the tray of food with a drink and a hamburger. And you've got the bench for your figures to sit on. Now let's see how everything looks all put together. Thanks for watching! And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Join us again! Yes, can I help you? Cut, Daddy, there might be too much going on around here, and I he don't He stole my hamburger! He said that he could pay me on Tuesday, but I don't believe him! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What happened? Little girl, did you see what happened? No. No, no. No, no, no! Ah! Bye. Bye.